What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And as you guys just saw, we're actually looking at some brake caliper compressing tools. I just showed a couple of videos using the Snap-on and the Lyle tool in action. Um, these two here, these gray ones, are both made by Lyle, both USA made. This one is USA made, and it's a single piston caliper compressor. Basically works how you guys just saw in the video. Squeeze the handles together and it'll compress your piston. And then it's got the trigger in the back. You just push right down on it and it'll come back. Now the base on this one is really small. So you still do have to use an old brake pad or a block of some type to put in between the piston and the base so that when you push it down, it'll actually compress it because this is not big enough to fit around the piston. And that's the only reason that I don't really use this one that much because it's pretty limited on the kind of caliper that it can work on. Um, now this one is another Lyle one, also USA made. Works the same way, you got your trigger in the back. Basically, when you push that, it'll let this move freely back and forth. But as you guys can see, the base on this is a lot bigger because this one is made for a dual piston and works the same way, squeeze the handles together and it'll fully extend, compressing your piston. And this one will work on single piston calipers as well without the need of an old brake pad or anything on that side. So if you're gonna get into either one of these Lyle tools, I definitely would recommend this one because like I said, this one will work on single and dual pistons where the other one is only for single pistons. So this is a much better option. Now, in the second video, you guys saw this Snap-on in action. This is also USA made, that's your part number there. And this one I picked up to use on four piston calipers because it'll work on single, dual, or four piston calipers. You basically put it right in and as you ratchet this, it'll either make the tool smaller, as you guys can see there, but it's got a little trigger there, you just push it. And as you ratchet, it'll make it bigger, compressing both sides of the caliper if you have a four piston or compressing the single or dual on one side. And this is probably one of my favorite ones to use. I probably reach for this one before either one of those two. The only thing I don't like about this one is that this grip slips off all the time, but I'm sure adding some glue in there or something like that will get rid of that. But definitely a great option as well. The Lyle ones, I think the single piston one runs about 30 bucks. Um, you can find them at like O'Reilly's or even Amazon. And this one probably runs about 40 to $50. But like I said, I think this is a much better investment. This one, if I'm not mistaken, it's anywhere between like maybe 80 to $100. Um, but like I said, this one pretty much does the job. Uh, both of those do. Um, so this is going to be a really good option too if you have the option to get it off the tool truck. I think you could probably find these on Amazon too under the Lang brand. Um, so if I find it, I'll go ahead and put it in the description. But aside from that, guys, let me know what you guys are using. If you're using something different than these, I know these are probably like the most popular options, but if you're still using something like this, your basic C-clamp or the really cheap brake tool that you got to spin by hand, definitely don't let me know. You got to get with the times on that one. But thank you guys for watching. And uh, like I said, give my video a like, guys. Let me know in the, in the comments what you guys are using. And we'll see you guys on the next one.